Hey guys, good evening. I just wanted to come on and check in with you. Um, I wanted to do a little vent, venting, vent, venting, and slash ranting, I guess. Just something was on my heart. So, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure everyone should know or have heard of, but Queen Naja. I love her. I've been following her since the beginning. And um, I think last night she had um, put out a video. And it's um, on her page, Queen Aja. And um, she is talking about women empowerment, <clears throat> which I love and I support 100%. Because all the time you always see videos about negativity or every time somebody does something, they shine the light on something negative instead of positive. In which we all make mistakes. We all go through things. We all make poor decisions and all that stuff. And um, I love that. I do love that. I agree with her 100% because I really feel like talking like to the ladies but this can go for men and women but I'm, I'm i'm a woman so i'm speaking from a woman's point of view from a woman's perspective i f agree with her 100 percent. you know by uplifting one another fixing each other's uh crown you know when that woman is doing well and you know we're supporting her and encouraging her and uplifting her and not hating on someone or trying to belittle her or discredit her because you don't know what an individual has been through you don't know their story you don't know their trials and tribulations you don't know their darkest moments you don't know all people see is when someone makes it they haven't been there with you through the whole journey I and mean, you've cried sleepless nights and feel like you just want to give up and you can't make it or you just feel like when am I ever going to catch a break and when is things going to get better for me so um I know I'm kind of probably all over the place and kind of rambling but um she made some a great point and I know that sometimes it's easy said than done, especially when somebody catch you off guard or you're going through something and and your emotions, like she was talking about, or on like on an time high and you you know you just you know sometimes you, you every day you're not smiling, every day you're not feeling your best, every day you don't feel the beautiful, you don't feel pretty or you don't don't feel so attractive or every day you're not feeling one hundred percent. That's normal. But even in those dark times, you have to learn how to speak life into yourself, if that makes sense, and encourage yourself. And when you start to feel down or depressed or sad or worry or frustrated, that you can say, all right, all right, it's not looking like I want, it's not going as planned, but I know that. For those of you that believe in God or trust in him or you know that God is going to make a way and just stay faithful and keep pushing forward no matter how tough it gets sometimes. And, um, sorry, this cat. No, 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 no. And, um, and, uh, you know, I'm not trying to force that on anyone, but even if I don't, you know, whatever you believe in, you still can say positive things to yourself and encourage yourself. And that's why it's so important to have those people in your life that can uplift you and encourage you when you're going through. And like iron sharpens iron, you know, like when I'm down. I have somebody to help lift me back up or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Because when you surround yourself by negative people, you can't. They're just, just, just adding to what's going on in your life and it's like it's draining you. You can't get 
out of anything when you're surrounding yourself with people steady trying to bring you down or remind you of who you used to be trying to hold you to your past because we all have a past okay so I'm, I'm all over the place so please forgive me okay so that's why they say know your circle the people that surround you find people that's going to love on you and encourage you to help you be that better person and she was making another, she made some a point, she was saying that she had to realize when she, she had gave an example about, it was a young lady who was commenting on underneath her post or whatever, and they were saying some really negative things, like tearing her down, but she had to, you know, just take a breather and just say, hey, she's going through something, she's not happy with herself. I mean, some of y'all can agree or disagree, but I'm, I just feel as an individual, when you are happy within yourself, you love yourself, if y'all can see this cat, and got something going for you, and got your head on right, and you're clear, and you don't have all that hatred, and envy, and jealousy in your heart, I don't have time to be trying to tear down another woman, or another individual, People who don't have nothing going for themselves, they're miserable, have bitterness and hatred and unforgiveness in their heart. Those are the type of people who do stuff like that. I don't have, to, and if I don't care for someone, I'm not about to watch their stuff. I am not about to sit here and waste my time to comment on something that they do. I'm not going to do that. That's why, that's what I guess they call them, what, secret fans or, um, I don't know what they call it. But that is, that's insanity to me. You don't like me, but you set, you trying to watch every move I make so you have time, you have no life. You're watching every move that I make so you can comment on my life. Look at it, look at it. Like, that's just crazy. I just, and I want to get better at that. And I'm sure I have said some things about some people or did some wrong things. But as now, I want to move forward and I want to grow. I want to be better and I want to encourage women and I don't want to tear people down. I don't want to do that. Like I said, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> and um so I wanna I wanna help encourage other women, you know? And I'm not that I'm that friend that I'm not gonna tell you what you want to hear to make you feel good about something that you have done. I'm that type of friend that if I see you're going down a wrong path or you're making like a wrong decision, and that could just be my opinion, I'm going to tell you about it. I'm not going to agree when I see you doing something that's going to end up visually, eventually hurting you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody doesn't agree with that. But I'd rather have people around me like me that's going to tell me the raw, honest-to-God truth than have people around me who are who talk secretly behind my back. It's a like, girl, she's stupid as I don't know what she's doing, da-da-da-da-da. But then when you see me, oh, yeah, well, okay, it's, well, if you want to do it, you know, like, kind of like, Oh, like accepting everything that you do. No, 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 no. I don't roll that way. And I don't like people around me that's like that. There's nothing wrong with people who you know who genuinely really care about you telling you the truth, regardless if you want to hear it or not. Because I just feel like the type of person I am, I care about you if I do that. I just don't feel like a person can really, that's my opinion. I don't feel like a person can really genuinely care about you to constantly allow you to keep going through uh, things or keep making bad decisions and not saying, hey, like checking you on that. 
like and I understand sometimes some people have to learn when they they don't learn until they they physically go through it but everything in life you do not have to physically go through something to know that that's not good for me you get what I'm saying we know that for example being in a relationship where someone is physically abusing you is not healthy, not safe, it's dangerous. It's not there's nothing good in that. So you know that's crazy. So in order for you to get it, you'll say, Oh, well, let me get in one just so I can go see how I feel and then maybe I can learn. You don't always I don't know if that makes sense, but you don't have to physically go through everything just to learn something. You can sometimes learning can also come from the people that surround you when they're going through stuff. You say, "Well, dang." Not saying that it's always going to be that same outcome, but you can learn from people that surround you when they're going through stuff. You know, that's why it's important to ask God for wisdom and discernment. You know. And clarity. I don't know. I'm just like rambling. I just and I just don't understand, honey. Because let me tell you something. I don't pick with people. I really I do not pick with people. But you know when people when they poke you and and they they get you riled up, and then you act out or you speak, then they be like, oh my gosh. They want us to make it like you're the bad guy. But they don't tell what they've done to get you to that point. You know what I'm saying? So, the little area where I'm, where I'm at, clearly, definitely not where I'm from. I've noticed a, a lot, a lot of females. They, like, you can go in there and smile. I'm sure this is everywhere. You can go in there and smile. For example, you go into the store, and be nice and friendly, and you know, with a nice smile, and be polite, and they just would just, hey, just dry. Or just so stank. Like, what you mad for, honey? Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Why do you have to act that way? You look so unattractive, so stank, unapproachable when you act that way. For no apparent reason when nobody's giving you attitude back. You know, and it's sad. And I'm sure sometimes we have bad days, but... Like when you're from a smaller town or whatever, or you live in a smaller town and you see these people on the regular and every time you go to their line or to their checkout and they always acting like that towards you, you ain't done nothing to them. Oh, honey, you got a serious problem. You have a serious problem. You need to do some soul searching or something. And do some healing or something. Yeah, but it's sad, though, how other women tear women down instead of encouraging one another. Well, I try to put these eyebrows...